This is a review of the WattCycle 314 amp hour battery. I was looking for a larger battery to help run my air conditioning on the trailer. There is a trip to Florida coming up. And that's why we put the AC in, but I did need to add more power. And what happened was WattCycle sent, I get requests to do reviews every day, everything from tools to kitchen appliances. I don't, I'm not interested in anything but those things that you and I would use when we're camping or traveling on the road. WattCycle wrote me an email and they said, we noticed that you put in uh, air conditioner in your trailer and we've got some extra battery power that we think you can use. That hooked me right there because they had actually bothered to watch my channel, Gone Again, to see what we do. And that meant a lot to me. So what I did is I started doing research on this battery. Ended up watching Will Prouse, and he um, reviewed the battery model before this one, which was a 300 amp hour battery, and it had a couple of faults with it. One was that um, it didn't quite meet 300 amp hours because they had used 280 amp hour cells. And the other thing was the uh, overcurrent protection wasn't as low as Will wanted to see it. But what happened was Watt Cycle responded to Will and says, thank you, we're going to make those corrections. And they did. They, you will get 314 amp hours out of this battery. And now the overcurrent uh, correction on this battery cuts out at about 300 amp hours instead of the original 850. So it protects your circuit in case of a short in your RV. They cared enough to fix it. Um, the internal components of this checked out very well in Will Prouse's video. He liked the way it was built. He said it was built extremely well. So I thought, well, okay, um, I don't want to review anything on my channel that I don't firmly believe in. And by watching that and doing that research, I believed in this one. So I said, okay, send it to me. And they did. So the first thing I got to do is get my batteries out of this trailer and, uh, get this one installed and charged up. It's going to be replacing these two Bouge RV 100 amp hour uh, batteries. Turning off the solar, of course. These batteries were hooked up in parallel, putting out 12 volts. With this new battery, I'm not going to have to worry about that. Okay, all cleaned up and ready for the new battery. But first, let's talk about this battery and what it can do. First of all, size-wise, this 314 amp hour battery is a lot smaller than these two 100 amp hour batteries. And it's a lot, still smaller than a single 200 amp hour battery, the ones that I've seen anyway. Weight-wise, um, these two batteries together back here um, weigh 57 pounds. And this one weighs 62 pounds or about 28 kilos. So I'm getting considerably more power in a relatively lighter and a lot smaller package. It has a max continuous discharge current of 300 amps. That's a lot. That'll run anything you've got in your RV. You can discharge this or use it down to minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 5 degrees Celsius. Who camps at those temperatures? I suppose some of you out there might, not me. It also has a low temperature cutoff on it, which is important because what that means is at a certain temperature, it'll stop accepting a charge because you don't want to charge a lithium battery or LifePro 4 battery like this below a certain temperature to avoid damaging it. It also protects itself from charging high temperature. So if it gets really hot, it'll shut itself off and it discharging, if it gets too hot, it'll also turn itself off. Well, there I'm all hooked up and ready for business here. And the term smart edition refers to the fact that it will connect with your smartphone. Now, this is one battery just by itself, and this works fine for me. But what if you want to hook these up in parallel? What do you need to know about that? I've been talking to WattCycle, and this is what I've learned. With a smart battery like this, and all other smart batteries on the market today, when it comes to hooking them up in parallel, things are a lot different than what we're used to. 
For example, these are the two 100 amp hour batteries that I just removed. I had them hooked up in parallel. And when it comes to hooking batteries up in parallel, it's always been very important that all the cables were exactly the same length and the same size. And it didn't matter if you were hooking up two batteries, three batteries, four batteries in parallel. The installation was critical on these. And all of the batteries that you hooked up in parallel had to be the same size, same manufacturer, same age. But with the smart battery, it's not that way. What happens is they're designed so that the battery that's hooked up to the smart battery always goes down first. And then the smart battery kicks in and supplies current after that. Let me explain a little more. Now I can hook up this 100 amp hour battery to that 340 amp hour battery in parallel. And what will always happen is this battery will always deplete first, go down to zero, and then the smart battery will kick in and supply power after that. They, they both don't go down at the same rate at the same time. So you can basically hook up, I wouldn't hook up a lead acid battery like this because you don't want to take a lead acid battery down to zero. But using a LifePo 4 battery hooked up like that, the first battery will always go down to zero and then the smart battery will kick in after that. If you have a high discharge rate, then the smart battery will actually kick in sooner to help supply the power. So now you can hook up two dissimilar batteries. Take your older LifePo 4 batteries or, or whatever you might have, or just dissimilar batteries. You can hook them up to a smart battery. Yeah, the first battery is going to be getting used all the time, but in the long run, you end up replacing the same amount of batteries. So if I want to, I can hook up one of my older 100 amp hour batteries to this smart battery and everything will be just fine. By the way, when you charge them, they both charge up to 100% normally. I'm no expert. Don't be too critical of me, but I've done a lot of research. I've been talking to WattCycle. This is how they say they're supposed to work. And the fact that all smart batteries are the same and built like this, it's intentional. The battery right now on Amazon runs $499.99. And that is an exceptional price, no matter whether you're buying it for an RV or you're buying it as a battery stack for your home, uh, if you have solar. Now at this point, there is zero reason to buy lead acid batteries or AGM batteries. This one battery is equal to like six of those 100 amp hour batteries and they don't last near as long. You're good with a lead acid battery, maybe two years of use. Uh, this battery has a five-year warranty on it, and I know that these batteries last a lot longer than that. They'll go like 10 years. No reason to buy the, inex the cheaper lead-acid batteries anymore. Not to mention, you can't spill this battery. It doesn't put off any fumes. You can mount it in any position whatsoever, stand it on its end or upside down or whatever. You can mount it any way you want. Um, they're just a lot better. Oh, and the other thing is that you don't have to worry about uh, what, what the level of the battery is. Uh, am I using it too low? Am I going to damage it? You can take these batteries down to zero and just charge them back up again. One other thing I want to mention is that WattCycle takes customer satisfaction uh, very seriously, and they've already proven that. Now, this battery that I've got here is not self-heating, although it does have a low temp cutoff. But I mentioned to them that in Montana, self-heating batteries are very important because it gets cold here. And they said they're coming out with a product like that this coming fall yet, this coming October. So be sure and check their product lineup and keep an eye out to see exactly what they've got. And you might find something in there that serves you. So if you need more power, and especially if you need more power in a small space, then I suggest you check into this Watt Cycle 314 amp hour battery. It might just fill the need for you like it's doing for me. We'll see you around.